time check is 5.10 a.m. <laughs> it's bloody early after quite a long day yesterday <coughs> because we're actually going to Fuji Cube! Okay, move a bit. OTD. Um, um, <laughs> so yeah, we are, it's actually, we are actually behind time. We're supposed to leave before 5, eh? At around 5, now 5.10 already. So Actually, we might be late as fuck. It's 5.18. We finally make, made it out of the house, but our bus leaves at 6.05 sharp. And we have like a few stations and some... Bro, is it two stations? <laughs> and, okay, two stations. <laughs> a lot of food to buy. And then we need to like, you know, like, yeah, walk to the express bus terminal. But basically, you can buy the things at the bus terminal. Yeah, mart. yeah, we're buying there. Mm, happy um, Mart. I love Happy Mart now. Family Mart. Yeah. Is it Happy Mart? Family Mart. <laughs> it's five fifteen, right? And look at the weather. It's then bright. Like, <laughs> what kind of place is this? Oh, is it like that in Singapore? No, right? No, no. Singapore like seven. Seven. It's literally five like twenty now, so it's like, yeah, you know, the sun is going to be up soon. <coughs> Okay, we will update on you guys if we actually make make it, make it on the bus. To do Bye. Bus. Okay, we didn't make it for the train. Because the next train is like what eleven minutes later. So we are gonna take the cab to the bus. Okay, so, so now we finally made it on the bus. Yeah, we bought a few um sandwiches and onigiri to fill us up for the ride. Is a mentaiko. No, this is the plum version. You got the oh, plum. You got plum instead. You didn't yeah. get mentaiko. I only really want to try the plum. I guess I didn't get um, only you because I was scared that like um the taste is very subtle. You know, like there's snacks. Mm. We have to wear a seatbelt. Yeah, it's weird because every bus you take here must take wear seatbelt, which is quite strange. Also, there's the female only seats. Do you hear the excitement? I am afraid. <laughs> it's crazy. <clears throat> so many crazy ass rides here. Actually, we bought tickets for the bus. Cause you pay like a much cheaper ticket to get into Fuji Q. Yeah. And they have the world largest biggest um, Honda house facility. But he doesn't want to go because he's scared. Fuck no, of course not. <laughs> Q Fuji is actually the volcano. This is oh, people are running, it's going crazy, guys. Shit, oh you know, God. Japanese people really have no chill. Yesterday, I experienced it on the train, I nearly died. They were pushing me and squeezing me like crazy. I feel so harassed. What is this? <coughs> okay, went to the wrong place. Thank you.
Thank you. So we actually bought um express ticket for a few rides. Okay, so these are uh, not go? cheap at all. This is gonna cost you 1800 per express ticket. Yeah. And like our entrance ticket was only like 800 yen. Yeah. So this is extremely expensive. We spent like $60 uh, but like it's gonna be worth it because our time here is really yeah. short. So let's queue for something that oh. let's queue for this one that we couldn't buy express ticket for. This Which one, one is it? Uh? The new one, right? Oh this one. Uh. What is it called? Basically, like, I don't know how, but that for that ride, right, the uh, the fast pass is actually sold out. How did that oh, even happen? First ride, <laughs> Chai already lost the uh, entrance ticket and we can't see anything. I think I left it at the counter when we put down our stuff. Jesus. Okay, let's go counter. Not, not inside, oh. The pocket? Yeah, my, free, Yama. We, we had express pass, so we didn't queue at all. We had no mental preparation. We didn't see how the ride goes. We sat on it and then we went. Okay, we did see a bit from the entrance. That's how big and it's long this shit is. Little did we know it's a fucking crazy motherfucking ride. That shit was turning and spinning like. Like I, nobody's business. My feet was all the fucking was shaky. That's thing the, the whole time. That was the scary part because they were shaky, right? It's shaky as fuck because the turns are freaking turbulent. Like. Yeah. It's damn sharp turns. It's like, <laughs> I was crying. Eh? I was crying. I was close to Thierry. I was screaming so much that my mouth is dry. Not the right. Please look at our face. <laughs> <laughs> this is why my mouth mm. was damn dry. Oh my god, we need, needed to buy this for toys. 79 I'm meters in height and 130 km per hour. Oh god. Hello. I want to just take photos. I don't want to ride anymore. Now we're gonna go for this one. This is the Guinness World Record holder for. Steepest. Uh, no, most number of um, oh, inversions in one ride. There's about 16 inversions, I think, which is like buck wild if you ask me. Stop. <laughs> yes. Paused around like free, like. I don't know how to describe honestly. Like, you're so much happening at once that. Like, you don't know what you're feeling. You you're feeling and you don't know where you're going because the chair is rotates. And the chair is backward and it rotates on its own with the track. Yeah, so you're like upside down and then. Oh, no, nope, never again. Now we're gonna see the world's deepest roller coaster. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we are we use all three of our trespassers and we set like three other rides other than that. Yeah. My throat is dying. Same. And we so, just ate which made it 10 times Okay, the giant cat. I want to take a photo with that. Same. So basically, our time here is up. We are gonna go to the lake. The, yeah. Kawaguchiko to mm, see yeah. Mount Fuji now. Yes. We are going to Nippon mm. rent a car. Once we make a car reservation. Um, oh. To drive. And actually I want to see KSS. The brand but it's like, KSS. what is that? You've never heard of that. But see Shamin me? was like, no. Later it's like, you know, the Malaysian car that you crash a bit, you die. So I got a Toyota Vitz. That's right. Safe and sound. Okay, now we're gonna go to... Wow, the place is quite cute. Le. Like me? Um, no. Yes. So for tourists, like, you want to drive up, right? No private cars allowed. So fifth station. Yeah, so, so unless you get a cab or you take the bus, you cannot go up to the fifth station because there's only like 100 parking slots or something there. Yeah, so... So, we're kind of rejected. Now we're taking the bus to, to fifth station, station Fuji Subaru line. Yeah. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good luck. Where is he from? Yes, we just came, reached the fifth station of Mount Fuji. This is halfway through Mount Fuji. Basically, this is the lazy people way. Lazy people way, but actually, most people think this. And the temperature in here is about slightly below 20 degrees, around 19, 18. It's sunny, but it's quite cool. It's sunny, but it's really cooling. I don't understand. Very big stuff, and then there's us that just want to come here to see the fifth station. I want to hike one day. 
one day though. And then we are going one down day. right after. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Hey, it's most useful souvenir here. Basically, you buy a can of Mount Fuji air. <laughs> you uncap it and then you put the face mask which is this one and then you breathe Mount Fuji air. Shao, what do you think about this? I think it's good ten. I think I should get it, but I don't it's know for who should like, I get. Um, you can pretend that you went hiking and collected the air for your friends. Should a fresco dining. It's a very nice view. This is actually like two thousand. Eh, how many kilometers above sea level? Meters. Three seven seven six meters above sea level. Yeah, and the food is not cheap. So yeah, we are eating here with the view of Mount Fuji outside. The window, I think it's worth for the view. Japanese plum flavor. Charmaine, how do you rate it? Uh, no. No rating. <laughs> it's not that bad. I told him, eh, I told him that it's weird because it's plum. Like, okay, we, honestly. We came to a shrine. Yes. Didn't film inside. Of course, we thought it would be disrespectful. No, of course I forgot. Um. But, <laughs> but <laughs> yes. Okay. Look at the mountain, the air, the sky cleared up. And we are considering going to the lake to have a better view of the its entirety. Okay, he's buying like the damn Fuji apple and he's smelling it. Why are you smelling it? it smells good. It smells like apple. Actually, it's China. <laughs> apple imported. <laughs> he didn't root eh. He didn't root. Okay. So yeah, they're gonna rush. Dude, look at the size of this apple. Oh my god, is that wasabi meal? Look at the size of the apple. Wow, much twilight shit right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our second time attempting to enter the fishing Zhao restaurant. fishing restaurant. Oh my god, it's so crowded at night. Now he's um, gonna fish for our prawns. See it, and we are on the boat. We're actually on this boat. We're gonna fish in the. Wanna catch your own dinner tonight? Yeah. We changed our spot because um the woman said it'd be easier to fish here, I guess, and she changed the bait. You know that we are lousy, basically. Mm, yeah. I'm pretty sure the bait she gave us is actually fish. So I don't know how these. Work. It's like cannibalism. Dude, they are super tiny fishes, though. Is it dead? Yes, he got he got prawn. Okay, we're not eating that. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god! Um, I can't see it! What, what fish is this? Uh, uh, big mako. Big mako. What's that? Is it the special one for the day? Yeah, special oh. one. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. show me yeah. fish is the most expensive one of the day. Um. It can cost as much as $8,000 and our one is $6,000. We could have gotten two fish with that $6,000. Oh well. I don't know whether it's lucky or unlucky. <laughs> I don't know.
is a two-way fish. We're having it sashimi style and karage style. We also ordered more food. Sha. A little bit more. You're very thin. Cheers to Japan. Mm. It's not fishy at all. Tastes a bit like mm, firm jelly, I don't know. This pretty tastes pretty decent and pretty buck wild if you ask me. Mm. Okay now we have our prawn that I caught. <laughs> This is what we call, but we oh, hot. what is this? But we really don't know what is this. It looks like a snail. I just wanted to try it because it looked very intimidating. But it's not. It's some shellfish thing, lah. I guess. Is it like twenty dollars, yo? For a lower price somewhere, somewhere else. else. They're really paying for the ambiance. Yes, and we even got like the boat seat, which is quite cute. And over there is the deck. Yeah. Recommended once. Once.